Devin Clark joining us. How you doing, sir? Doing great. UFC Rio Rancho ahead of us, February 15th, taking on Yatsimiro Antigulov. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've never been able to say his first name, but Antigulov, yeah. Russian. And Another tough grappler, looks like a durable foe. What do you think of the match? Uh, he's a Dagestani wrestler. I'm a Midwest wrestler. Whatever, let's, let's do it. Um, I'm excited to test myself against his grappling. I know I'm, I'll be superior in that in that uh, in that realm, but it's it's still be a good test. You know, he he did grow up doing sambo and wrestling and stuff like that, so. Uh, it'll be a good good test in the, in, in that uh, yeah that realm, but we're gonna take over for sure. Is there a little bit of, of you know, assess with the, the wrestling side of the matchup between yeah. the two of you with the credentials? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm a better wrestler. It's <laughs> period. And the striking the striking will figure itself out, but you know the wrestling it's it's uh, I feel like it, it it'll come down to that who's the better grappler, who's gonna win the the exchanges and the and the scrambles and stuff like that. Uh, whoever controls this fight is going to win, so, uh, yeah. And on that wrestling note, is it almost like a national fight a little bit, the American style versus the Dagestani style? I think that goes back a long ways, you know, USA versus Russia, it's, you know, it's kind of been like that, Olympics, stuff like that, so, um, yeah, definitely, USA, USA all the way. Um, I always have to put on for the country, especially when I'm fighting, um, you know, overseas and stuff like that, but he's got to come here, he's got to come to the United States. And not only the United States, but Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, you know, a, a fight city. So you come here looking for a fight, you're going to find one. How much do you also think about the hero part, the elevation to be in your favor with you after you've been training out here so often? Uh, you know, it might have some part, but I expect him to come in shape and ready to fight and ready to go three rounds, you know, solid. So that's what I've prepared for. Uh, yeah. We talked about it the last night was in Tampa. It was two before were overseas. Mm. How has it been different now not having these long travels for camp? It's, you know, it is what it is. It's our job, and it's, um, I'm, I'm used to it by now. I think by my, I think by my third or fourth fight, I was, I had to go to Poland. So it's like I got kind of used to that right away. And now it's just another part of the job. I've had wins and losses overseas, so it's, and I've had wins and losses here at home. So it's, you know, it is what it is. Does it feel a little bit different? Uh, fighting here, Albuquerque, right outside Rio Ranch, is a couple minutes away. Mm -hmm. So it's a local fight for the gym. Does that yeah. feel different? Yeah, I like fighting at home. Uh, Grow, or starting out in the, uh, when I was fighting for RFA, most of my fights were in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's my hometown, and all the way up until I fought for their title. And so it's like I'm used to being in front of the hometown crowd and having that warm response and a little bit more pressure. And and I like it. And Albuquerque is the second home for me. I've been coming down here for about three years now, and I, I know a lot of people here. And you know, I'm the hometown guy. So yeah. there's a lot of buzz around. Around town, does does this bring you back to those same kind of feelings with the RFA, where it's a local event? So you're hearing the buzz, you're feeling yeah. the anticipation around when you go out. Yeah, I love it. And it's all love, you know. And especially here in Albuquerque, people like fighting. And it's and back in Sioux Falls, it was a little different because fighting was new. It was pretty new uh, to the city when I was fighting there. It just became legal and stuff like that. But it's, it's a pretty, got a pretty good history here in Albuquerque. So it's a you know it's a little bit different, but it, it's always it's a warm welcoming and and everybody's getting excited and I can feel it. Last fight didn't turn out the way you thought. What adjustments have you made since then? <clears throat> Uh, I've made a few. Uh, starting with, I, I quit chewing tobacco, and that was, that was a big life deal. I chewed for about 15 years, and it had a hold on me. And anytime something has a hold on you, a grip on you, and you can't, it's just not healthy. So starting with that, freeing myself from that addiction uh, was huge eye opener, and it changed a lot of things in my life. I started working harder and doing more things, and, and being able to actually think clearly. I gotta ask, was that? Did that start from cutting weight from wrestling? Right? Yeah, okay. absolutely. That started wrestling in high school. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of part of the culture, I guess. And right. ho I, I heard hopefully, that. it's growing out of that, and and hopefully, I can uh, convince kids not to even try it. Because once you once you start it, it's you know it, it's it can be a lifelong thing. And thankfully, I'm uh, blessed to be able to quit. And 
I kind of used my daughter. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I put it on her birthday. It was a birthday gift to her um, for me to quit chewing, and it was one of the easier things I've ever done because I put it put it on her birthday. I'd say finding the right motivation would have been more the same. Just to, that, that's important, right? The more, right motivation. Yeah. Is yeah. Uh, just thinking about my future and stuff like that, and my daughter and my and my wife, and my wife has always hated it. So doing. You know, just making uh, making it right. It's, it was the right thing to do. And how do you feel you benefited now with that decision? How do you feel? Great. Right. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a part of my life that, that I cut out, and it's something that doesn't. Like I said, it's not distracting me. It's not something. Okay, I just got done training. Let me go have a dip. Like, let, oh, I forgot to get a new can. Let me go to the gas station right after practice to get a can so I get that in. Uh, it's you know, it, it's nice. It feels good. Now I can focus, and, and it, but it made me more proactive in a lot of different things and different kind of training and stuff like that and, and taking the right preparation. What are, do you mention some of the other adjustments that have been made? Uh, I started, I've been working my jiu-jitsu a little more. I've been submitted a few times, so I've been working with Professor, Professor Tusa here at Jackson Wing, and, and it's going to change my game, and, and everybody will see it in the fight coming up. Um, it's definitely something that's going to benefit me, and I've trained jiu-jitsu for a while, but just taking another step of actually uh, uh, nailing down what I'm good at and what we're in my holes and stuff like that. And yeah, it's really good. How hard is that for the sport to be impartial when analyzing your strengths and flaws? You have to be honest with yourself. I mean, that's number one. If you're not honest with yourself, you're telling yourself you're good at something and you're the best at it and you're really not, it's it's going to show. And it's showing in my fights. Uh, my jiu-jitsu, it used to be my striking was my, my biggest weak point. Um, but now I've had to worry a lot more about jiu-jitsu and that's become more of my weak, weaker point. And so I had to address it and I had to work at it and that's what we're doing and we're changing things and starting to become more of a, a well-rounded athlete. February 15th, two guys with a wrestling background. You think you get 15 minutes strike best possibly to see two in a kickboxing match? You see that sometimes happen with wrestlers. No, no, not, not no, this no way, no way at all. Uh, it's you know Valentine's Day. I can give him a little, give him a little kiss on the cheek with, with my fist, but uh, it, I, I'm sure it'll go to the ground at some point. At least a lot of attempts, and and we'll see where the striking goes from there. And your assessment: What makes the difference in this match between you? I think I'm a smarter fighter for sure, and. From what from what he's shown in his past fights, he doesn't fight always fight that smart, which is whatever. Maybe he made a change though in this fight, so I'm expecting the best fighter he he is, and and that's what I'm gonna be. The, but I'm gonna be better. It, like I said, it's Valentine's Day. I got a date, a nice nice Russian fella, nice very Russian fella, and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be good. And then fights here locally, and I'm sure all the locals they love to ask this question. Don't know how much you've gotten to enjoy the food out here when you're training, but green or red chili? Red. Red? I know, I, I'm not quite New Mexican, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's about the green chili, but uh, I, yeah, I like the red for whatever reason. Uh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Always been good to talk to you. Thank you, appreciate it.